security sector underneath through what I labeled or what's been labeled civil society and state oversight. Now, if you look at the providers of security and you think about security in the human dimension, there's a need for security among the people. And if it's not provided by the state, society is going to figure it out. I mean, lawlessness and chaos really don't rule within society. So if the state doesn't provide it and there's a void created, something's going to fill that void. And so really it's up to the state to decide how they're going to provide security, knowing that if they don't, somebody will. And if you look at the last 